So these are the two tanks and we have to take these out. So I've cut wells that are here, 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 here. Still got to do this. I have to remove this. We're going to cut this bad boy here. Just disconnected that hose. We'll disconnect that one. Steel, of course. cuts here and they will make the walls and then there'll be a curtain that comes down here of wood that will overlap that. Now the problem is is I need a roof as this won't fit. So where can I get a roof from? Ah check this out. This is about the right size. So now we just need to remove this. Now let's get the hammer. that we've done with the expanding foam, um, the tarpaulin and of course the sarcophagus that I built over the top of it, uh, something within that combination of work has um, stopped the leak. We have this little puddle of water. Now what that means is obviously the water is not getting 
past this little dam that I've made. But of course this means that this area is going to be uh, inundated by water and will result in rust. So what I'm going to have to do is the next time it's dry is clean this up and um, give it a bit of rust primer and just paint it um, so that it'll be sealed and protected uh, in the intervening time and we'll get through the winter and see how we get on. Um, incidentally, this is where I am at the moment. Um, what I need... What I'd like to do next is just get a staple gun and just staple all of this down and uh, once we staple all of that down then it'll be secure but the biggest issue is if we have a nice storm that comes through that storm may just whip all of this off but um, so far ratchet straps have proved to be extremely durable um, they've kept Georgia together and um, I don't use the other one and uh, use a little cable tie to tie up your excess and then later on when this is repaired and incidentally I do know where this is leaking it's actually actually only leaking here at the top in the window so this can be fixed quite easily when we get to the time uh, but in the meantime might as well just wrap it up um, whereas this door does need a, a proper rebuild but I would like to retain as much of the original door as possible but we'll have to do that at a later date um, may have to get a professional carpenter to do this um, or I might do it myself, we'll see. There is only one leak left that needs to be sorted out. But this is sort of, it's not, a, it's not really a leak, it's, it's part of the design of the boat. So here is where the mast comes down and then there is this. So this is our bilge, specifically designed for the mast. Now what I've done is I've just given it a wipe over with grease as a protective layer. And what I do is I get my basin here and my dirty old sponge. I reach in, pop my sponge in the water. My sponge picks up the water. And by the way, the sponge is impregnated with grease, which is why I have a latex glove on to look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for being juvenile, but it is very squidgy. Pull the water up. Now I am being extremely anal about constantly cleaning up the water, but there's one thing: is I believe the water should be on the outside and not on the inside. But what I've done is used cable ties just connected them all together so there's four cable ties and it's greased up and making a seal I don't see any holes I don't see any damage so um, I mean it could be coming in through there I mean, it, in theory could the water be coming through here but I don't think so nobody does own a mast and has come up with a foolproof way of stopping the water from going down your mast to, to um, Leave a comment. That's my ton of coal. That'll keep me going all winter night, all winter. So that'll keep Georgia running for the entire winter. winter. Um, I mean, it's halfway through the winter. I'll reconnect the stove here. Oh, and might burn some of the coal in here. But um, basically, yeah, that's a ton of coal. So weirdly, um, by putting in this coal, I've returned the boat to its original job of transporting heavy goods. Alright, I think I'm going to have to take those off. So, what tools are Canis got to use today? Ooh, very nice. that would be a no. I know the Stilson might be a bit of an overkill, but um, the, the one that was at hand. Oh, 
One of the things I'd like to train my brain to do is not be lazy and just grab the Stilson because I thought the Stilson would do it. When I have the tools to do this, they were only literally two feet away and yet I decided in my wisdom that the Stilson would be adequate. I was wrong. I mean, I could have made this a lot easier if I'd put some WD-40 on it. Hey, there it goes. Yes, but... That's only half the battle. Haha, the mighty Stilson. You see, I knew I was going to need the Stilson. Oh, ho, ho. 